distinguished head of delegations, members of delegations, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. It is a great honor for me to participate in second CEC China Transport Minister meeting and business forum. First of all, I would like to thank our Polish hosts for the effort they put into organizing this event and the hospitality they showed us here in Warsaw. Croatia supports all activities bringing Europe and Asia closer, enabling sustainable development and economic prosperity of the Eurasian area, and we recognize this format as a great opportunity to discuss the ways to achieve that goal. Creating efficient transport link is a key factor to make our common vision a reality. The Republic of Croatia is the youngest member of the EU and has the potential to become, due to its geographic position, the new southern gateway to the European Union and the Europe in general. Croatia is situated at the intersection of maritime good transport routes and continental corridors of the core trans-European transport network. And it has a direct access to the European common market. The port of Rijeka is a core network European port on the Mediterranean corridor and our largest port. We can be seen on the slide near me. We don't have a presentation. Sorry, uh, sorry. You see it? Uh, that Intermodal link connecting this port with both the railway and the Danube waterway secures the shortest route from the Adriatic to the Danube region for the gravitating European market. This is precisely one of the main advantages of the port of Rijeka and its transport route as well as the Croatian trans transport system in general. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, the Adriatic Seaway to Europe represents a huge potential for logistic activities with a considerable advantage. Ships sailing through Suez Canal reach Europe through North Adriatic, reducing traveling time through five to seven days compared to the ports of the Northern Europe. Coming back to these slides, this, uh, you can see the route is 2,500 nautical miles shorter. Given its characteristic, it may be called the green path to Europe because it considerably contributes to lower CO2 emissions. The increasing Asia and Australia Europe trades through the Suez Canal have been making the Adriatic Sea even more strategic due to its geographic position closer to the Middle and the Far East. Adriatic ports account for 5% of the total cargo transport in the whole EU market, which demonstrates a large potential for growth and catch-up trend if necessary investments are placed. Today, our largest port, Port of Rijeka, is connected with the biggest Chinese ports by direct and regular shipping lines, which are serviced by the largest shipping companies in the world like CMA, CGM, Costco or Maersk line, which ships that hold the capacity more than 11,000 TUs. Port of Rijeka is positioned at the very nearest of the Baltic Adriatic corridor, and it is located about 500 kilometers away from all the major European cities, like Budapest, Vienna, München, Bratislava, and Belgrade. With such a position, the Port of Rijeka provides optimum access to the market of the central and the middle Eastern Europe, Croatia, Hungary, Austria, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Serbia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina, Ukraine to the west, Poland, and Germany to the south. After Croatia became the member of the European Union, it became a part of the large port and the transport system of the Europe, which opened new market and development possibilities. Port of Rijeka is recognized as a core node, while infrastructure upgrade and the development, a development of multimodal platforms and interconnections with the Port of Rijeka are recognized as CEF pre-identified pre projects on the Mediterranean corridor. For Port of Rijeka, as well as entire Croatia, the Chinese initiative, 21st Century Maritime Silk Road, signifies an additional opportunity for growth and for development. It opens the possibility to put its transport position to use for its own development and faster economic growth of Croatia and to be an active participant in this major Chinese project of global importance. Apart from the development of the port sector, Republic of Croatia is continuing with the development of the other transport modes as well. Nowadays, railway sector in particular. So you can see behind the slides uh, behind me. Croatia already has excellent road connections, as we all know, to Central and Eastern Europe through the recently built new motorways. 
On the other hand, the Croatian road network are compared to average European road quality and high quality. On this slide, uh, you can see there are also a number of ongoing projects for the modernization of its railway connection, in particular on Mediterranean corridor. The competition of these projects, as well as the competition of planned of ongoing project in the Rijeka port itself, in enable the port and its multimodal connection on the Mediterranean corridor to reach its full potential. The whole investment uh, on the slides you can see of all the projects is about 2.1 million euros. To conclude, the trade between China and Croatia is increasing, but is still significantly below its potential. Croatia geographically position, knowledge of local conditions in southeastern Europe and EU membership make it a partner worth consideration. Croatia has ambitions to become a regional transport hub. Such development would need investments and cooperation on a regional, European and a global level. This further increases the potential for cooperation within 16 plus 1 framework and provides ground for participation in Belt and Road Initiative. Implementation would require capacity building and raising awareness, as well as follow-up activities in the framework of today's meeting. Finally, I invite you all tomorrow on our presentation, where Port of Rijeka, along with Port of Zadar and Port of Ploče, will present their projects and their opportunities in terms of effective transport that can benefit European and China economy. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mrs. Nikolina Brunjac, the Secretary of State at the Ministry of the Sea Transport and Infrastructure of Croatia.